back to my channel. Today I'm here with my fifth, fourth plushie video. And this time it is about a new crane game that I am obsessed with and spent way too much money on. I will go into that very soon. And it's called Tereba. And it's a Japanese crane game that you can play directly from your phone. It's an app and it basically has like hundreds and hundreds of machines that operate out of a crane game factory in Japan. It has two claws and you basically poke the shit out of your plushies and these really difficult machines and if you win them you actually do get them shipped to your door from Japan and the plushies are very high quality they're not manufactured in Japan but they're manufactured in China however they're really high quality anyway even though I think I was saying in my other previous videos China's quality is not as great but the ones that Toreba actually gets their plushies from they're actually really quite soft and it's from a manufacturing company called Jaya J-A-I-A -A. and whenever I see that on the tag I know that the plushie is going to be soft and a lot of the plushies are exclusive to Toreba so that's why I like to win them. Just a disclaimer if you have an addictive personality if you like to gamble and don't know when to stop please do not play this game. I thought I didn't have an addictive personality but I do when it comes to winning and working like I work really really hard to the point where I'll sacrifice my sleep and whatnot. I don't have an addiction to like drugs or alcohol or anything like that but I do have an addiction to plushies and collecting them and I'm a huge huge plushie collector when I found that you could win them and I got the thrill and the high of actually winning them I knew I was in really big trouble I actually spent like thousand dollars just playing for plushies in September given I won like 20 of them like that still is not good and that money could be well used for something else this video I'll be showing you three boxes of Tereba prizes that I got in my next Tereba video and I'll show you four to five of my wins that I I thought were worth it and ones that I thought were not worth it and I spent way much more than the, what the plushie was worth and then I'm going to talk about what not to do on Tereba to help save yourself because it can get very addicting and it's the same notion as gambling so I just wanted to forewarn you just be careful you do get a free play every day and that's how they get you and they do these little like incentives like oh if you ship out three prizes you will get an extra free play ticket but that means you gotta win those extra two prizes and that might cost you more money more than like what the shipping is which I think is like $20 just be very careful I'm slowly learning how to get not only better at the game but knowing when to start and like allowing others to play a little bit before I enter but we'll get into how to win on Tereba soon so let's start with the unboxing Yay! I have a thing for small plushies mainly because I live in a one bedroom apartment near New York so I can't like have all these giant ones I also think the small plushies they call them mascots on Tereba have like a finesse to them because they're smaller I feel like it's so cute to have so much detail in them whereas I think the big one they're just like let's like fluff the crap out of it and expand all of the features on our teddy bears like I think the small ones are better however from joining some Tereba groups and speaking to other players they say that the small ones are actually harder to win maybe that's why I spend a thousand dollars even though they're like valued less like if you resell them they'll be priced at a smaller price point I like them better so that's more valuable to me and that's why I've been going for them however I'm trying to challenge myself with some bigger plushies on Tereba it's really difficult for me I feel like they just don't move and like the big plushies like intimidate me but apparently they're easier to play so who knows? So I know you said I was going to unbox these. But just like my addiction with Tereba, I had no self-control, so I already opened them. And they were really slow in shipping, so I wanted to, making sure that they were there, because I spent so much money on them and I didn't want to lose out on that. This is my first box. And it's funny because it's so small, but I actually have like many plushies inside here. So they all come in wrapped in plastic wrap. This one I was very proud of myself for winning because she was super, super tiny. And I remember the crane claw was so wide that like nobody was really like getting it but like my method for this was kind of like moving it over to the I think the left or the right and using just playing with the one crane claw to kind of just keep flipping it over to the right side until it fell through the bars so I'm gonna open this to show you what it is she's got like she maybe she's in an orange juice box like who knows really but she's adorbs she's got like blue and yellow ears she can be a keychain but you know i'm not gonna put this on my backpack to risk dirtying them no way so cute ah, don't touch my lipstick oh boy okay so that's that ah, bunny on the loose we got loppy chocolate loppy oh, oh 
Wow, he is super soft. So I'm technically unboxing these out of their plastic wrap for you guys. He is so cute. They call him Lobby Pote. Potate? Sounds like potato. Huh? And he's got like little blush here. He's chocolate colored. And he's by Amuse. Super cute. And he's really, 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 really soft. He is so adorable. And his like ears flop. These were my favorite wins ever, to be honest, because I really love like pastel plushies and I love Disney. As you can tell, all the Zoom Zooms are by Disney. It was like a Halloween pastel set and I got Dale here. Super, super cute. Let me, hi, my face is so big. Okay, so very cute pastel purple. And he's got like a little pink nose, stars in his eyes, little bows over here, a little hat. Got a little cape and we got a wand. Got this tag and this is the Jaya tag. And then once I won this one, I was like, I gotta get the other one, right? Right? No matter the cost, hmm? Just kidding. I got his counterpart, Chip. Okay. He also is super cute, super fluffy. And he's got like a blue cape, got a little pumpkin wand. He's super freaking cute, oh my God. Blush, pearls. Am I like loving the detail on these? It's adorable. So that's my first box. Here's my second box. We got a lot more small mascots again, because again, I'm obsessed with small stuffed animals. So then we got Daisy from the same set. I couldn't resist. Then I was like, let me just play for the whole set. And these two, I was actually very proud of winning. I won them in like two to three shots maybe, which was crazy. That doesn't usually happen. So this is Daisy and she's also part of the Halloween pastel set. Super cute, she's got blush, eyelashes, she's got a bow tie on her hat, little pink feet with like pattern on it. Oh, Daisy. To finish the set, I also got Minnie, who is very precious. She's got a pink hat, little purple bow, cute pink eyes, Halloween wand again. She's got a little tutu skirt. Oh, excuse her. Indecency, put your skirt down, girl. Yuck. Blue bow tie, cute little feet, and they're very, very, very soft. Next, we got this Hello Kitty that cost me like $50 to win. Not a proud moment, but I was really stubborn to get her because she was so close and I just had to keep poking her down. So this is her. She cost me $50 and she's like this big. Really cute though. It's uh, her 45th anniversary. So I was like, oh, let me get a Hello Kitty to like celebrate her birthday. A Rolakuma. This was a surprise win too. I got him in like two tries. I thought he was bigger actually, but he's not. Thought he was, I really did. Oh, and he has like a lucky leprechaun thing on his butt. Some of these I'm not taking out because I don't know if I want to sell them or not. And you can kind of see them in the bag. I don't want to sell them because it was such a cool win, but I'm running out of money. So maybe it will happen. Okay, and then last but not least is this adorable Korilakuma. She's from the PJ party set that like recently came out. And she's one of the small mascots here. She's got a little moon, little bow tie, tag, and everything. She's not as soft as the other plushies, but she's cute. I'm actually wondering if she was made from Jaya. No, she's not. Maybe that's why she's a little bit different. And then, oh, then I got my first big plushies. Look at this cutie. I got this Rilakkuma. Oh my god, how cute is he? I'm gonna have to open him so you guys can see. So we got this Rilakkuma, also from the PJ set. I won him from a diagonal bar setup that opens up wider at the end. And I kind of just like was really lucky and I kept pushing him and it was like really perfect. And this is Jaya, so he's really incredibly soft. Oh my god, he's even got like a bandana and everything. He's got like a bow tie. This is like a moon he's resting on he's sleeping in the sky how cute is this guy so this is my largest one so this is me like he's bigger than my head he's super soft he's got his infamous zipper and he's very fluffy like his the texture on him is like you see that and then i got this one this was also a proud win i got it in like three or four shots i think and this is the Halloween Shirokuma from the Sumiko Garashi collection by Sanex. This is the Halloween set, so he's got like the black horns here. He's got these cute pants. And I'm not taking him out just in case I want to sell him, but he's really, really, really cute. And I love it. I, love it. I got my first non plushy win, but it's a blanket and it's actually Neko's face is on it. I've been waiting for this video to open it. Oh my god, he's so soft. What? Oh my god. It's like his whole face is on it. Oh my god, this is actually so cute. So you can see everything's from his feet, so and even his like brown marks here. So it's like a good like couch blanket. This is so freaking cute. I can't even. This is like 
Oh my god, I'm obsessed. This took me quite a while to win because it's not like your typical, I guess, plushie to win. So I had to like really observe people to figure out what the best move was to get this blanket. Before I did my like three prize wins, I only did one prize so I could control myself. <laughs> How they got me was that when you first open the app, you get five free plays. And on my fifth play, I actually got this Gulpin Chan. And he's really cute. He's battery operated. And when you press the push button here, he actually like waddles his feet. Let me show you a video of what it looks like online. So you can see that he like jumps around and <laughs> waddles his feet, which is so super cute. And this is when I realized their plushies were high quality because they're so soft. But yeah, this is my first win. Never gonna sell him. My second win, you might've seen this guy already. He's my Rila Kuma puppet. It took me $50 to get him, but he got his value back because I put him in a lot of my fashion week videos. So I guess it's fine. And how cute is this? Very cute. I'm like obsessed. This was also a bar game. Then my next win, which was a box game, this was during fashion week, was this Neko. And I love his little bow tie and his little checkered pants. He's surprisingly very soft. He's also from that Jaya company that I told you guys about. Here he is up close. Super cute. Wow. Look, I can put my finger in his hands. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna sell him, I love him. So that's that. And then sometimes you can't win all the prizes and you might as well just buy them. So places you can buy them are on eBay and Mercari, a bunch of great prizes that maybe you would just rather buy than spend money wasting and winning them. So these prizes are from a fellow player. I got this little Neko because I love him. He's also from the Halloween collection. He's actually a devil. So he's got black wings and then he's got like a black fork here. Super cute. And then these suckers are so cute. Everybody was winning them and I couldn't. And I was too scared to keep playing to try. And then sometimes they make the claw weaker after everybody like wins them. So I was just like, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna buy them from someone. And I got them for a great price. So here's Korilakuma. I don't wanna open them yet because they're really much larger than I thought they would be. So I might not keep them, but Kori Lakuma with Kiratori on the top. Very soft, same texture as this guy. It's the same. Ooh. So the main reason why I wanted it was because I have a thing for Chiroi Koguma. And I love this guy. And like, look at his fangs, he looks so evil. I love it. And then he has like a honeybee on the top. Not really sure who that is or what that represents. He's got a bow. He's got his famous bear-shaped honey paws and bear-shaped honey butt print. So cute, so cute. All right guys, now that you saw the prizes, you know it's not legit. Those machines can be nerfed. So just be careful because someone else wins it doesn't mean that you will. A lot of the times the employees go back and change the strength of the claw or how deep it goes into the machine. Don't get addicted to like winning something all the time. That's how you can get in trouble. And that's that. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys loved my unboxing. Yay! Stay tuned for my next video on my tips to win on Tereba and how I won some specific prizes that I really loved and what not to do on Tereba. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on my channel. It helps a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And without further ado, Casey Ma the style right. Oh. I gotta put batteries in these so I can walk. Boing!